A vaccine trial that started in Seattle just reported more promising results. Early data from Moderna shows its vaccine could be 94.5% effective at preventing the coronavirus. Those results could change by the end of the study. It's the second company on track to receive emergency use approval. Moderna expects to have 20 million doses of the vaccine in the U.S. by the end of the year. Pfizer also reported above 90% efficacy, and they expect to have 50 million doses of their vaccine. King 5's Chris Daniels talks to two of the people who risked their health to find a cure. I was so excited this morning. Jen Holler probably reacted to the news a bit different than you. I had my first injection on March 16th, that second injection uh, four weeks later. She was among the first group of people eight months ago today to get an experimental coronavirus vaccine. Uh, it, it's a momentous occasion. Neil Browning, too. Have you noticed any side effects? I've noticed none other than the next morning after each of the two injections, my arm was a little bit sore, much like you'd have with a typical flu shot. The two Seattleites say they're more optimistic today about a vaccine after Moderna announced their clinical trial started in Seattle, appeared to be close to 95% effective against the virus. Both times that I had the, that I had the vaccine, I, you know, my arm was sore the next day, but besides that, I've felt great and normal. And Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, says the vaccine and another developed by Pfizer likely just need FDA approval to begin broad implementation. We project that by the end of December, that there will be doses of vaccines available for individuals in the higher risk category uh, from both companies, we hope. It's important to just keep doing what we need to now because even if the vaccine is approved tomorrow, it's not out there in wide enough consumption for people to resume normal life. Adds Holler. And I really hope that uh, that that this serves as a good example, um, you know, certainly for my kids and, and for my community to uh, think larger than yourself and to consider the privilege that you have in your life and to uh, be able to use that to help others. And that's that's what I did in Seattle. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.